It, it has always been amazing to me to come down Michigan Avenue and even before Ford started renovating the train station. And there is something inherently beautiful about this. Can you imagine what this is going to be like as the train station gets done and as Rosa Parks gets rebuilt? Uh, of course, we got to start with uh, Bill Ford and the Ford Motor Company who had the vision. The place where dreamers in search of new jobs and new opportunities. A signal to the world that Detroit is open for business for good. Who hung in uh, when there wasn't a lot going on in this part of town uh, and to see what's happening now. And then you look at the connection now on the other side, the Southwest. Uh, Greenway that's going to connect down to the Ralph Wilson Park, which is going to be absolutely spectacular. Uh, I'm going to predict to you that this particular site is going to end up being one of the most beautiful and iconic sites in the city of Detroit. All those images that went around the world for years about the abandoned train station, you're going to see gatherings and wedding parties at Roosevelt Park. This is going to be the image of the city, uh, and it's the image our city uh, deserves. In 2007, just um, four blocks west of here, the city of Detroit and area foundations uh, partnered with the Mexican Town CDC to invest $17.5 million to create our cultural destination, to make this a beautiful, diverse area to live and work and play. And uh, this is a really exciting day uh, because we have such amazing, vibrant communities here and to be able to, to really enhance this park. Uh, this is an example of a tremendous partnership between Ford, between Michigan Central, but also uh, the collaboration between our departments within the city and the residents. It's been tremendous to see the amount of engagement that's happened over a three-year period uh, to get us to where we are today. Additionally, we recognize all the team that worked on this, Core Town Business Association, uh, the Mexican Town, all of the residents there, the, and we're tremendous collaboration over the last couple of years has led to not only something that will be representative of the unification of our city and of this neighborhood, but of the great future that we have yet to come.